I don't even know what day it is. It's Friday. Okay, it's Friday. This thing just crash on me? Stop streaming offline. Oh, weird. Is it actually working? Oh, it's just the website. Twitch knows it was having some issues a day or two ago. Not totally sure. <clears throat> I saw recently the PC Building Simulator 2, which I had played the beta, and it seemed pretty cool. So I saw it was a little cheaper at the moment, so I picked it up. The one negative, it's on the Epic Store. So also I ran my head into a I don't know if it shows up on the camera. It's like a blood. <laughs> Ran my head into a slightly immovable object earlier today. So that was fun. Which is, yeah. When you have short hair, it's everything visible on your... I got this too. This was from years ago. It was, uh... So the main one was... Uh, a monitor arm that was affixed to the wall and I, when I do stuff I tend to over engineer so it was very very strongly to the wall and I I budged more than the thing budged when I like step, stepped up into it and basically the same thing with this today but there was it wasn't as uh, bad by far. But the negative of having short hair is that everything, all of the stupid things you've done, standing up into things and stuff, and I'm six foot tall around that, I would assume, at least when I was measured years ago, probably. But uh, yeah, I'm so I'm six foot tall, and I don't know if that makes a difference with being stupid and standing up into things and Hitting, hitting things with their head, but uh, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Epic Store. There it is. So I'll pull that up. I'll put up Steam too. In case. Okay, it's an Epic coupon right now. 33% off of something. So I got that. <clears throat> for like twelve dollars. Let me get rid of Steam for the moment. What does this shows anything? Awkward, no. So this thing. Hmm. Yeah. I don't really use the epic thing very much. Cause I don't I feel like I don't need yet another like store thing. Shift F three. Oh, maybe I should change my it looks like someone on Steam is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Another one's playing Monster Hunter World. Interesting. What is this? Uh, okay, I need to add a source. So my screen's going to go dark. Because I have a scene just for audio sources. All right, let's see where it is. Okay, 
Let's see. I'm going to have to find it. This big list. Wait a second. Oh, that's probably the original. Ah, oh, shoot. Whatever. Let's put it at 50%. Uh, let's put these up a little bit. Okay. Update. Oh, I need to change my Steam, uh, the Twitch thing. PC. Two. There's one viewer, 3.1k followers on Twitch. Interesting. I'm going to mute this for a second. Gigantic can. This is the Peace Tea stuff. It's all right. It has sucralose in it, and I've been trying to avoid it, but it's like way at the bottom. So it's probably not a lot. Whatever. All right. I'm not getting any audio from this. Now, uh, 1.6, we partnered with AMD to bring you sleek new workshop theme, something, blah, blah, blah. Main gear. Customized, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Does this have? 1920, quality. I don't think. I'll just leave it for the moment. But my computer is not very good, so... We'll see. It should be 75. The screen it's on is 75. Why is there no music? No. Oh. Maybe I should use my own music. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Career and free build. I'm not very career focused, so... I also had tea already from McDonald's, but this is unsweetened. So it'll be very tea, teed. The specific one is tea plus lemonade. I noticed that uh, Burger King has peace tea now in their machine. So I actually would go there more often because they'd have the unsweetened one and it's decent tasting. I think this... Oh, citric acid. Yeah, that's fine. I don't like phosphoric acid in tea, which is... I think Peak Brand has phosphoric acid in it and their tea and it just tastes like acid. It's really bad. Build your dream PC, export it, share it. So we've got. Yeah, my computer's kind of like, dude. It's alright, but it's very. I don't know if this audio is too loud. I'd have to pull up my phone or something to see. Oops. Fix that. Man, this maxed out. Why is this so bad? I'd have to increase the... 
Maybe it's just that it's slow. Let me turn that off. DLSS. Yeah, it's not. I have a 1060. The VSync thing doesn't make sense with 60 hertz because this the main screen I have is 75 and the other one's 60. Whoops. Okay, why is that not? Let's just do medium. Okay, that feels a little better. The mouse is still kind of slow. What is this? Painting station. Yeah, man. It's maxed out look sensitivity. Maybe that's even worse. All right. play this with the controller so what I would have to do is go into my mouse settings on the windows probably uh, this is specific mouse I'm using at the moment so uh, silent whoops silent logitech one like the buttons don't make click noises or at least compared to regular mice, which I like. But uh, it doesn't have a DPI thing. All right. I mean, right here it's fine, but let's see. I don't know if that made any difference. Still seems slow. Well. Alright. Let's see what they've got, like company wise. Deep pool. Fractal. Be quiet. Sounds pretty good. MSI has their own cases, I guess. Fractal. I don't know if this is a real company. Let me see. Okay. K O L I N K. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Interesting. Never heard of them. So it's, it's a dot eu website. I got to get. I guess I could pull it up here. Let me get a browser ready for this. Co-link. All right. So, it's, like I said, it's an EU. This probably explains why I've never heard of it. Mini IT. 
ATX, Micro ATX, Mini Tower, Full Tower. Big Chungus. Wow. The Big Chungus case. Yeah, it's not even... Well, it's, it's probably language. Extended ATX. This is such an impractical shape. Nothing about this to me looks appealing. It's like, okay, it's cool that it's... Uh, like a sled or something. That's nice. Unit edition. <laughs> uh, Chungus, big Chungus. Okay. Imagine buying this. Hmm. Let's see some of their. I wish they just had a big list of photos. Okay. Stronghold. One thing I'm kind of not thrilled about is that so many cases now have windows, and it's fine, but I don't really. Especially glass. I don't understand the appeal of glass because you can't put anything on it. It's going to break. Even if it's tempered, there's a chance of it busting. Especially too for tables. It, it makes no sense to have a glass table like uh, for TV and such. I've seen so many photos over the years of shattered uh, word whatever you know the the type type of glass that shouldn't do that but it does anyways because it's glass again not a single case with just the regular panels for that Unity series. That's kind of interesting looking. Hmm. Anyways, so they're real. Antic Peace Antec. This is a classic brand. I don't know if they're very popular anymore, but I had a few Antec cases. I think I talked about this last time when I played the original of this game. Or whatever you want to call it, application. But I had a piano. It was like Sonata. Let me see if I can find a photo of it. I mean, not one that I had taken, but of the case. Maybe it still exists. Or maybe this is just an old... Yeah, so it was basically like that. And the goal of this... This was back when cases weren't nearly as varied. So the goal here of this case was quiet. And I like quiet stuff. So I picked that up at the time. With the hope that it... Things would be not as loud. So anti-vibration 
hard drive cages and back then SSDs weren't a thing as far as I remember. So you'd have the hard drive and hard drives are a spinning object inside and it's constantly spinning. It doesn't really stop. And it vibrates and makes noise. So having the rubber grommet like mount things was pretty cool at the time. So it's this little tiny picture. That's what it, yeah, I'm on the right screen. That's what it looked like. And it had uh, air filters and such too, which I don't think was like super widely like available on, in computer cases back then. And just keep that up in case I'm going to pull something. Let's see. Never heard of this company either. Indoor, Indoor Fi. See what this looks like. Oh. Uh, can I look at it? It's pretty standard. Hmm. It's not terrible. How do we get rid of it though? Like, delete. Uh, okay. Maybe you need to know certain keys or something. Look, which is X. Oh no, that's mouse. Uh, menu, escape, inventory, I. PC power, P, T. I don't know why these are not on screen unless I just didn't notice it. Maybe there's a key to see these easily. Increase bio settings. Hmm. Oh. Uh. T I. Okay, it's good enough for now. So it looks like a pretty sizable amount of cases here. I kind of like the wider ones. Which I haven't really seen. Like maybe something like that. Oh, it's a mini ITX. Uh, S8, S, is S standard? <laughs> I don't know, what, I've never seen it labeled S ATX. E is extended. I've never seen XL ATX. Hmm. Let's see why they don't have more, well, size. Cube. Let's look at the cube ones. I have two of them. Yeah, I'm not really a fan. Of, I've seen this case by like Gamers Nexus and such. But I'm not a fan of that side, like, slant. Let's 
super tower. Open frame. That one's interesting looking. Maybe it's uh, like an Apple thing. Knock off Apple case. <laughs> there must be a better way to look at it. Can I just look at it? Hmm. Pick up in T case. Uh -huh. Work on case. Work on PC. Okay, I can zoom. Holding my other keys down and seeing. Ah, you'd, th you'd think this would be intuitive. Their music is also kind of weird. Hmm. Camera pan. Camera rotate. I thought I tried that. B? Maybe B? Sprint. Yeah, it's not doing anything. I could jump on the table. I want to look at the back. Ah. Uh. Okay. It's kind of cool looking. Do D U B I L I. Four hundred and seventy dollars. It's crazy. Okay. Wait a second. What happened to cases? What if I go like... What? Oh, I have to pick it up? <laughs> no, that didn't work either. I'm confused. Where are cases? Here, that's case fan. What the heck? No, oh, case storage. Huh? Let's do full tower. Yeah, four hundred and seventy dollars. It's that price is. It must be really big or something. Mm, there's nothing really here that. Oh no, they have the chungus. I think these are too big. Quad, 
quad stellar electro limited that's cheaper than the other one in win 309 nothing about this looks 470 dollars and they, they've got the pyramid thing I think Linus Tech Tips did a video making a PC in that. That one looks... My current case is an NZXT. They're pretty decent. What is this? Lian Li has some... They're a long-term... Uh, case manufacturer they make some nice stuff i think they were the, one of the first that had aluminum cases there you go got corsair they have cooler master they do. They don't have the one that I like though. It's like a cube thing. I don't think it's that. Let's see what this looks like though. Because it's really small. It's kind of cool looking for a small case. I don't know what this sound is. It's making a, a movement sound as I move <laughs> this game. Yeah, they don't have the one that I like. Or theoretically like. Because I haven't actually used it. G skill has cases? No, I guess not. You'd think they would set this up so it only shows brands that have things in the list. Maybe I'd have to uncheck that. Fantex. I think I've seen this thing down here. Hmm. Silverstone. Oh, this is interesting looking. Hmm. Okay, so I have to pick it up. And then I have to go into it. Okay, uh, took me back to that again. First, let's check them real quick. I'll pick one of these instead of wasting my time. Uh, no. ZXT. Nope. What is this? It's so small. It's kind of cool looking, but it's really small looking as well. Well, actually, it looks like a full ATX. Oh, maybe not. This is probably a PSU. Yeah, that's micro ATX. Duh. Go, go with this thing. What 
Whoa. Okay, so I can adjust my positioning. Those are some weird fans. There must be a way to select what songs. change that song wait what was that music player How do we get to it oh it's in the tablet t okay so how do i get rid of this So it doesn't look like I can exclude songs from there are a huge amount anyways. An area for I've never used to AIO, and I don't really have a huge desire to either. So I don't specifically I don't especially want a bunch of liquid in my computer. Oh, this is weird. So here's the, the plates for the back of the motherboard. And they go up into this chamber. That's interesting. Hmm. These, <laughs> these sound effects are flipping nuts. It's a really generic, bad movement sound. Oh. Sixty dollars for that thing. Missing cables. CPU. Got Celerons. Delitted. Ryzen 3. 
And do I have only really old stuff here? Oh, well, this is 77. 5800X3D, which is the previous, yeah, AM4, but it's still pr pretty recent. Not a lot, but they've got a Threadripper. 95 watt. I don't know what the heck is this thing. This must be an older generation. Hmm. Ryzen 9, 12 core, 39, X59. I don't know why they wouldn't just load this thing up with options, considering they have most of that stuff. They also don't have a a selection for uh, manufacturing process. You do cores. Hmm. This probably is the best. Option. Okay, so we got that. And go to motherboards. Talking really weird today. Motherboard. Standard ATX. Uh, so there's chipset, but it doesn't let you sort by socket which is very strange hmm I have three aim five and they're all b650 what the heck That's weird. Oh, fits this PC. Maybe that's... X570. Is that... That's AIM-4. Is it 670? B650. Hmm. Okay, these are extended ATX. Eight hundred and fifty dollar motherboard. That's crazy. So the only six seventies they get they have are these two not so ones. That's a more Tony. I wonder if that's a fake company. Prefer MSI stuff usually. It's nice that they're in here at least. <clears throat> at least based on my past experience with components I've had less issues and less like weird problems motherboards GPUs with MSI compared to uh, other brands so we got the B 
650p Wi-Fi. Hmm. Yeah, that is an interesting configuration of this case here. Oh, that is so weird. Wish I could zoom in there. It's kind of cool, but also why? Like, what does this do? Because it's not. I'm gonna turn off those sound effects there. Just weird. Whoops. So whenever I move the case around, it makes this shut like. Stupid noise. Okay. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is not, not like super fun at the moment. Uh, I did get a CPU, but maybe it didn't pick it because I needed to That's an eight core. Let's do this one. Open. Yeah, that's as close as I can zoom in. Come on. All right. So we got that, Let's get some thermal paste on here. Cooling socket M five. It's quite a view. Never heard of indoor fi. Let's see. Be quiet's a good option. Pure rock two. It's gigantic. So we got type. Let's do air cooling. Let's look at the antic has nope. Uh let's look at be quiet ones. Oops, clicked the wrong thing. Rock Slim, probably won't this one, 160 millimeter, I don't know what the case thickness is, oh, what, um, I don't know, I think I have it backwards. Let me click on it. On okay. So how do I get back to that? 
I think I need to reselect it. Yeah, you'd assume, considering this is the second version of the game, you'd think like the interface would be very intuitive and and such, but it de definitely is not. Because now I've removed it, but then I have to go and find it again. And everything is deselected. It's really weird. And the position of the list should be the same exactly where I left off. My opinion. Okay. All right, so the fan should be going that direction. Okay, I don't know if that's going to fit. I mean, if it fits, it fits, but that barely... Looks like it barely fits, if it does. Hmm. Is this thing a handle? No. This is a weird case. Hmm. Wish I could get closer to it. Fully zoomed. All right. Motherboards, memory. So in this case, DR5. Do 32 gigabyte sticks, which is a thing now. So this doesn't even have cast latency. I feel like someone could make this game and make it so much more detailed. It's missing so much like little details that would make it like oh cool. Obviously, they have to do that over a bunch of component components and such, but it doesn't even say. Corsair Vengeance. Usually get G skill because they're cheaper but decent. So it's a 5600. I think I need 6000 though on that board. It's an RGB. No thanks. Lighting. None. We'll do that. Oops. So the question is which which slots? Probably the why is it not?
Hmm. That was the wrong one. This is so weird, you can't zoom in more. That's the limit? Come on. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> they even look like different modules because there's one with a white top. What the heck? Like it doesn't even give me an option to remove it now. Ah, oh, man. Now it does, okay. Can't select a range of six thousand and up. G skill flare X five. Why is it? I'm guessing it's a fitment issue. Okay, so those are in conflict. Put in this one and put in that one. Assuming those are right, probably would have to be these other two. Let's do it properly, but... Kind of weird. What else we got? GPUs, an old GTX 750. Maybe I should try to build my current computer. So they have a 1060. Now they only have one. I have an MSI. Obviously the price is not, not based on current. Let me see if they have AMD or uh, Intel ones. Okay, you can't select it by the well, his chipset. No Intel. All right, here it is. It's A750. Yeah, and seven seventy. Oh, they're just the generic. That price makes no sense. They have 7,000 series, yeah. It's a 
this is probably the best option, really. Right now in a GPU. Okay. So it's not going to let me do anything until what? Remove. Okay, so I can switch between those, I guess. It's going to take all these out. Yeah, get out of here. All right. Yeah, so it did not jump back to where I was in this list. So far, this is not feeling like it's worth $12, but it's, it's still kind of cool. It's just like not intuitive. There we go. I wish you could zoom in more. Like really get in there. <laughs> oh, SSD. It's not gonna let me. So I have to do that first, I guess. Type Kingston to a two terabyte. P and Y is fine. So there's that. There's another one. Nah, okay. Pricing on here is all messed up too. It gives no, that's one terabyte. Thankfully, they're not that much in reality. Then I have to go re add my GPU from finding it in the list. Uh, 7800 XT. Okay, that's a little faster to search on it. Probably at least that much. ATX modular. It's called Hydro. Hmm. Gamer Storm Corsair Gigabyte Gamer Extreme 
I like the brown kind of. Kind of, sort of. Let's go with... Sure, we'll do this MSI one. So it looks like, okay, it automatically cabled it. Yeah, there's almost one up here. Why is it not using two? Hmm. Case fans, maybe. Maybe put these plates back in. Okay, maybe not. Don't even see a way to... Is that piping? No, oh, that's... Install. Custom cables. I never really understood the point of adding an extension just for looks when you're kind of degrading the... You're adding more to a cable, which can't be good a good thing. And you're adding more connections between pieces too. Just to make it look a little nicer, I guess. Doesn't seem like the smartest thing. So we got that. What is this? Graphics card got that for the moment. Memory. So they so they not even have add-in cards. It's kinda dumb. Oh. HDMI. Nope. Capture. Nope. No capture cards? Come on. So what'll probably happen, they'll add new things, but you have to pay for it. Hundred and twenty millimeter. Just gonna assume that's a hundred and twenty. Why can't I zoom in? I'm fully zoomed, I guess. Yeah, it jumps out. So we got that one. Then these down here, because it's a hundred, are they a hundred twenty? Uh, I think I could put bigger ones. Remove. Yes, remove it. Remove it. Maybe a hundred forties. I'm gonna put two of them. That's fine. It doesn't look like I can do much here. Probably have to disconnect everything. Move motherboard. So I have to take out the GPU to put this. Holy crap.
Yeah. I definitely think there's room for someone to come in here and make a similar concept of a app game and make it more enjoyable to use. Look at this cabling. What the heck is this? Is that the fan? That's really bad. Like, what the heck? You're telling me there's no other... Take this out, too. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's try another one. Power supply. Throw a thousand watt in there. Oh, the fractal one might work. It's modular. Let's put in the silver stone one. Okay, that's huge. It only filled one connection point again. So I selected that, but it doesn't let me do anything with it. It's not changing anything either. Hmm. Okay, here's here's where you can add these back. What the heck, bro? It was literally not letting me get out of here. I have to pick it multiple. Okay. So once I put something from the inventory, I have to reselect it to put the same thing. So with the GPU, I think it used not the top slot. Yeah. 
I'm not sure what the purpose... Man, I really wish I could zoom in and stay zoomed in. I'm not sure what the purpose of this tap slot is. Huh. Alright. Let's finish this so I can move on. <laughs> So we got that thing starting to, at the very least, understand how it works. Put the fan back in. Fans. Another thing here, they should specify just for the information of it and the getting into it is they should say what type of bearings and such these fans have. Otherwise, it's just like a bunch of white noise with this limited information it doesn't make it interesting as a person that, that would enjoy building a computer. And it's basically like Legos. But more, maybe not more advanced, maybe less advanced than Legos, depending. But uh, let me see if it. Okay, that doesn't fit in there. Maybe you could try antique ones. This gray is kind of interesting looking. F Lux platform. Silver stone case, antic fans. Yeah, it's insisting I'm putting the power down there. It's not letting me take it out. Yeah. I don't know why it's doing two cables. It's just kind of weird. Or oh, maybe moved these ones. Probably what it did. Hmm. Deep cool. So that one. Let's see. Oops. Socket eight and five. I think it was be quiet. Let me see what the height is on that when I was using. 160. Let's see if there's a shorter one. No, it's 160. 155. Another thing that these don't show is uh, usually they specify how much heat they can dissipate. I mean, you can go and look it up to really RP this stuff, roleplay it. But they should list that information in here. Considering they spent the time to 3d model of the thing and put it in here they but then they don't put that type of information it's kind of weird Let's see what this silver stone has 161 
Those ones are just as tall. Deep cool. Hundred thirty. It's eighty eighty uh I know this airflow. Doesn't even say what fan size is on there. Gamma X. Inwin. Hmm. Alpha cool. This one. Okay. So maybe it fits slightly better. Could probably, oh, I could use the other RAM now. So I can, okay. So previously it wasn't working because of a uh, fitment issue. That other heatsink. Hmm. So the main things that I'd focus on when I'm building a computer is not, I don't really care a huge amount about performance in the, the sense that it's obviously going to be better than my previous setup, considering it's newer manufacturing technology, uh, all that. So I focus more on like how much power it uses because the more power it uses is the more heat is going to be generated most likely and manufacturers have been tending toward just pushing more power into it so for example this 7800 is probably more than i would want to realistically use this gpu uh, the cpu here too is the x version you can underclock them and make them more efficient which i would consider but they just don't have the Railer versions in this program. So things like that. I would go for something like 65 watt TDP for the CPU. If I could. Like nothing over 100 watts. Is really what I would want to get into. But like I said. From my current setup to whatever is new. There's a huge performance delta because of how old my current stuff is compared. So there would be about the same efficiency, I would hope, for what I would select and still have a nice performance boost. But uh, components have gotten a little weird, like I said, because, I mean, this GPU is expensive too, but... NVIDIA doesn't really have anything great. The 4060 NVIDIA 
is pretty efficient, but then they screwed it up with a really bad memory setup. It has low RAM and it has a 128-bit bus on the 4060 series, which makes it really unappealing, especially considering what they're trying to charge for it. Things like that. So I wouldn't want to go with that GPU for like the principle of it. Even though it would be an upgrade to my 1060 at this point. Although there's still NVIDIA especially still trying to push 8 gigabytes of RAM. And you can like debate whether it's super necessary or not, especially on lower end components. But if I'm going to spend the money, I would want something with around 16, maybe 12 but 16 would be preferable. And it's very limited options right now, like on the lower tier. So this this one's like 550-ish. But again, it uses a pretty significant amount of power for the 7800 XT. But there are rumors that they're releasing a 7600 XT with 16 gigabytes of RAM. We'll see what they do with the memory interface and like the... Uh, bus width or whatever you call it that could be potentially a nice option for people that have been waiting quite a while like price versus what you're getting yeah all right this is basically a functional computer that there I have to reselect it. Hmm. Very unusual case. I kind of like the having the ports on the top. It's interesting. But this thing here just doesn't seem to serve a real purpose. And also motherboards and components aren't necessarily designed to have the weight distributed like it is. Although I tend to prefer having the motherboard flat, which also might not be like the conventional way to do it. Okay, actually, yeah, these fans look like they're going the right direction. So the in this case, well, literally in this case, but also in this case, the f airflow would be going bottom to top. Yeah, so the, the fan orientation is like that. This one too. And the heat would be blowing up like that. Which should be good. Interesting. Okay, of course I picked the other. Okay, yeah, that's plugged in. Do I have to push a button? Like where even is the button on this thing? Uh, do I have to flip the PSU switch? I can't even zoom in. Yeah, this is bad design. I don't think I'm supposed to flip the switch. It's not highlighting. Hmm. Maybe it won't let me turn it on without the side panel, which is stupid. Hmm, still didn't. Hmm. 
What is going on? Missing cables? Like what? This has got a cable. Uh... Incomplete case. Yeah, it forces me to put the side panel on. That's stupid. Oh, maybe it's complaining about this drive bay thing. Also, not necessary. What? That's supposed to go on before the... Oh, the back panel. <laughs> okay. This is certainly not something that has to be in the computer. And that the panels don't need to be on for it to turn on. Yeah. Dust filter, is that what it's complaining about? PC. Those are all in there. But also not a thing that needs to be in there. I think this one goes over here. Yeah. No OS. Uh, funny. Oh. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> this is. So you have to you have to take off that top panel every time you want to do something back here. And I change, I pull USBs and stuff for my streaming setup. So the camera, the microphone, I don't leave connected. And I connect them to the back. So that would be a hassle. Put this thing back on, I guess. All right. Yeah, I just put a USB in there. Will it run? Custom cables, typo, mugshot, spiral engine for strike back go. So it has little games on here. Data mine. Cinnamon. Where is a uh, clone thing? for the cores. Memory speed is wrong. So I guess you're supposed to go in the BIOS. Okay. 
Am I supposed to press something here? Delete. It did not cooperate. I don't have function keys easily usable. That's not how it works. Said so you have to hold delete. RAM. So you click that and then it works. CL24. Hmm. Settings. There's usually a save. Okay. Okay. I don't know why these are gray. See what this thing is. I don't know what this is. Part ranking. King utility or something. GPU tuner. Let's not. Will it run? All right. What is this thing? What? Sounds like a text adventure version of its game inside the game. Isn't that nice? Lighting typo. Okay.
Okay, that's nice. Cinebench, same thing. Whoops. Okay. Cool. That's a game. I mean, it doesn't really seem much different than the original, but maybe it is. I just haven't looked at that much either. I don't know if it's really worth $12, but there is a career mode type thing, and you can also paint cases and such. I guess I could check that out real quick. Let's put this back on. And then I think I pick it up. Escape? Yeah. Um. Jank. Nozzle size. No, it's going so slow. Is it transparent? Okay, that's... Paint on this? Huh. Okay. Thing. We can adjust the nozzle size, I guess. Uh, apply on glass, advanced. drawn anything in a long time. Is that what a cat looks like? Um. very not symmetric cat 
Do they have a... is blank. Let's see. Most of the art things that I look at and repost is on X Twitter, my cosplay one. Snoopy. Let's see what he looks like here. Here's a like an old school Snoopy. That's, although it's actually more complex than the current Scooby. Snoopy. Here's the old, uh, the, like, regular one. It's weird that the mouse is going in, like, the same motion. Every time. I'm looking at don't really show the rest of them <laughs> very well. So we'll just go like that, I guess. The specific one I'm looking at, he's holding a book. But that's probably good. There we go. That's supposed to be Uwu. What a computer. What else do I get? Oh, I, post, I reposted a MF Ghost, which is initial D. So it's a Toyota 86. Like the new version, though. I don't want to try to draw that really. Mm. Well, that reminds me, I, I posted some uh, DIY step pad, step mini pad pictures, and I did get the pre made soft one for like thir it was twenty seven twenty eight dollars and actually it works decently well probably and I taped it down so it doesn't shift around and actually I prefer using it with some shoes that I have it's okay but I don't know how long it's gonna hold up although I wouldn't say I can't I it does phantom like presses a little bit, but my one that I built out of junk also also uh, is pretty bad with that. So maybe I, I can do medium stuff, not really hard stuff. And at this point, I don't know if I'm even capable. If I had like a really good pad or something I'd, I'd probably be able to but like i said i don't i don't know if it's me or the stuff i'm using to like do that level of play all right that's seven i think i'm gonna stop this game is 
the the drawing thing is kind of cool so i could see messing around with that and it does have a career mode thing which which i can check out at some point but uh yeah not the worst thing ever i don't know if it's worth 12 dollars though And I'm sure they'll try to charge for new components and stuff eventually. But uh, not terrible. All right. I'm going to head out. See ya.